Welcome to the Aging with Options show. I'm Chris McCutcheon. Thank you for listening into the program today. The Aging with Options show is all about seniors as well as loved ones who care for our seniors right here in the Louisville area. We're pleased to bring you every week at this time interesting topics for our senior community with the help of our expert guests. We cover a variety of subjects on the show from health care, innovative products and services, aging in place, home care, and many other topics. Today we're talking about balance and fall prevention. One-third of the people over the age of 65 fall this year. That's one-third will fall this year. Gentiva's Safe Strides program specifically addresses that risk by offering a cutting-edge program that we'll hear much more about that's intended to lower the risk of falls and improve balance for seniors. I'm thrilled to be joined in the studio by April Abley and Eric Went. April is a physical therapist and director of Gentiva's Safe Strides program. Erica, uh, uh, also joining me is uh, Eric Went, who is the uh, rehab manager for Gentiva. Eric and April, thank you for joining me today. Thanks for having us. Good, it's good to be here. Good, good to have you on board. And uh, interesting topic of conversation for us today, which uh, we're uh, thrilled to get into because so many seniors, of course, as, as we mentioned in the uh, opening comments there, are at risk for falls. And Gentiva has come up with a, a very innovative program to address that called Safe Strides, as we mentioned. So, April, let's just jump right in and get into it. Tell us, what is the Safe Strides program? Well, it's a very inclusive program. It is therapy-based, but it has all disciplines involved, meaning we have physical therapy, occupational therapy. We have also available nursing, speech therapy, and social work. Now, what we actually do is a full assessment of somebody's balance, because as you Hmm. mentioned, you know, a third of people over 65 fall, and a full over one half of people over 85 will fall this year. So what's happening is what's happening is people are falling, and if you had traditional physical therapy, you think of PT as being more strength-based. Mm-hmm. You know, where you're getting out there, you're working on somebody's uh, weaknesses. Might be looking at their walking. Do they need a walker? Do they need a cane? And that's a traditional physical therapy. So what we've actually found, what Gentiva has found through a a ton of research, is that people were still falling. We would get out, we'd work with people, we'd work on strengthening, we'd work on everything, you know, our traditional therapy, but they were still falling. In essence, we were creating strong fallers. Hmm. Then, so, you know, what we had to do is figure out now why. We're missing something. So you're improving strength. That was certainly improving, but that wasn't eliminating the falls or even reducing falls at all, so... Precisely. That's exactly what Gentiva was happening. took a different approach then. Yeah, they, they went back to the drawing board. Yeah. And we figured, all right, well, let's look at all the components of balance. You know, strength is an important component, no question. If you're falling off balance, you have to have enough strength to push yourself back. All right, that is certainly one of the components. But what's the other three components? So we broke it down. We started looking, all right, well, the other components are your eyes, your ears and how that works with your brain to produce the correct um, motion and the what's called proprioception or somatosensation, which is how your joints and your skin, what they tell your brain about what's happening in your environment. So you actually can make the correct position, the correct adjustment if you're falling off balance. Each one of these components is vital if to keep you in center. So what we did was we figured out an evaluation to look at all of these. So again, it's the eyes, the ears. You mm-hmm. mentioned the, the relationship between your joints and your skin and how right. they can tell you what's going on. And tell us and, the, and the, muscle. the muscle. That right. is, yeah, and the strength. Going back so to the, the traditional physical therapy. The traditional therapy physical therapy right. does a very good job of evaluating that. But it's the others that we needed to address. It, and that's what the Safe Strides program with Gentiva is. It's addressing every component of balance. So uh, if you'd like, I'll, I'll tell, talk about all of the components. Let's we, talk about those. All right. Sure. Um, with the eyes, it is, it's, it's actually very interesting because if you picture yourself walking and a dog runs in front of you, all right, dog runs by, that can actually make you off balance because your eyes are now darting to something else. And it is giving your brain certain input. But if you have a problem following that dog or if that dog stops in front of you, and your eyes are not actually working correctly to stop at that one moment when that dog stops, it's telling your brain something different. So now you cannot work to adjust your body to make up for that. So I could get off balance. 
Or you can look at this, um, another part of it. It's called a VOR, which is, is very interesting. It's a reflex in our, in our eyes and in our brains, which basically it is, works on gaze stabilization, which means that I have got to be able to see an object um, in, very, in a very stable sense with my head movement. I want you to picture a race car driver, okay, a NASCAR driver is going down the track. And he is able to actually look at the track and stabilize on that track and keep the car on the road most of the time. Mm -hmm. But what we see on TV is the camera image. And the camera image is bouncing around. So that camera does not have this reflex. It is an inability to stabilize your gaze, your vision, on an object with movement, with head movement. So there are actually people driving and the signs move. The road moves as they drive because this actual reflex is declined. It is not working properly. So the cool thing about this and all of these components is we can address them. We can work on them. Mm. There are muscles. You actually have muscles around your eyes. You know, we think about our bicep lifting up something. But believe it or not, there are tiny muscles around the eyes. If we want to look up, there's muscles that actually pull our eyeballs up. Wow. If we want to look down and so forth. Wow. So we can actually work on these. Because what happens, especially in our elderly population, is they don't do as much, do they? You know, they, they basically, they get tired. They have injuries. They, you know, so many reasons. Their endurance is low. So they don't use these muscles as much. They're not getting out as much looking around. Mm. You know, so they get weak. And this is a component of balance. So we can actually make this stronger and make a huge impact. I've seen this work on patients that it's tremendous, the, the improvement that they'll get very quickly. Just by addressing uh, Just this muscles one around the eyes. Component, yeah. This one component. Now, unfortunately, what happens as we get older to our vision? That declines usually. So that is a component of balance. If that declines, then we better be doing everything we can to make the most out of what they have and work on the other components of balance as well. Mm. And uh, a lot of us are visually dominant. In other words, at night, if you shut off the lights and walk, it's a little scarier, you know, sure. because we don't have that component now. We don't right. have that input. Right. So there's quite a bit to, to take in when you're evaluating those components. Mm -hmm. uh, April, you're looking at the, uh, a variety of different things, the eyes, the ears, the muscles, the joints, and, and so forth. Uh, how do you go about assessing which of those is the primary cause, or is it oftentimes all of them and you're dealing with all of them to some extent? Oh, a lot of times it is. Or is there sometimes there's a, there's a primary that sticks out and that's what you focus in well, on? Well, sometimes there is for sure, and that's why we have to do this, this evaluation, this very extensive evaluation to see. You know, we look at all of the components. I look at the eyes. If I was to evaluate you, I would look to see how your eyes actually track an object. Can you actually follow the object without your eyes darting to another location? Mm. You know, it is, it is actually, um, I could see it, you know, how your eyes actually do. And typically there's, there's one or two areas that a person is weak in, you know, where they just haven't been using their eyes in that particular way. Or they have something like a macular degeneration, which gives you uh, spots of blindness, you know, which at that point, I've better be working, again, the other components of it, you know, and make a person aware. Sometimes they don't know. So tell us about the assessment, uh, Eric. Uh, tell, how long does a, a typical assessment take? Well, they, a typical assessment is going to take anywhere from maybe 45 minutes to an hour and a half. Um, and again, we do that right in the patient's home. Um, uh, we come out to them, and um, one thing just to expound on what April is saying too about accommodation and, and having these other systems kind of build them up so they can accommodate for any deficits that the patients have. If we were to do this testing on you or or myself or April, we if we did this entire battery of testing, it would show that we each have a deficit somewhere in those four areas, likely. But that doesn't translate into a loss of balance for us because our other systems are strong enough that they can take over and accommodate for that deficit. So that's a real uh, entity when you're looking at the senior population. There, there are things that, that, that we're going to find in this testing that we really don't have a lot of control over. Mm -hmm. 
from a physical therapy or occupational therapy standpoint, we don't have control over somebody's loss of vision. Okay. But we, we recognize that. And then what we'll do when we're, uh, you know, figuring out our treatment plan is we'll say, okay, we can't make them see better, but we can make that reflex work better. We can make uh, them stronger. We can improve their proprioception or the way that their body knows where it is in space. And by building up all these other things, their body can accommodate, you know, for, for a loss or a deficit. My guests in, in, guess in the studio are Eric, are April Abley and Eric Went with Gentiva Healthcare. We're talking about fall prevention and balance improvement for seniors. We'll take a quick break and be back with April and Eric and more topics of interest to seniors right after these messages. You're listening to Aging with Options on 970 WGTK.